Anyway, all that's over now as well, you know. We've been in mourning long enough, so we'll set out soon. Oh? Where'll you go? To Istanbul. My son's teacher has an internship for him over there. We'll all go to Istanbul together. Oh, you think that Hussein would just let his brother go like that? No! As if we were waiting for Hussein's approval. My dear, I have a house over there. It's been empty all this time and we were going to sell it, but we've changed our minds. Thank God I'm going back to the place where I was born. I don't want to stay here and wait for my death. <laughs> People used to say that every funeral has something to laugh about and I used to condemn them. May you live long enough. <laughs> My God, what is there to laugh about? I didn't want to say it to your face, but when my nephew went to Istanbul to study, he looked for a house in that district you mentioned. <laughs> but he thought it was too far in the outskirts. In the outskirts? My dear, it's the most historic district in all of Istanbul. You wouldn't understand that. Ah, uh, so your house was located in Topapi Palace, but my niece couldn't understand it. <laughs> Amin, are you crazy? Why are you laughing during my father's 40th day of death? You will humiliate it's... us all. I was just amused. Zaliha and the others are moving to Istanbul, to a mansion. <laughs> you mean now isn't a good time to make jokes? Oh? Huh. Well, tell her then. <laughs> Heaven forfend. <laughs> Why on earth do I even bother? You could never understand. This is your entire world right here. This kitchen and that garden over there. All these years you've looked down on us because you're from Istanbul. You go, sister, go. You'll be back here in no time with your head hanging in shame. You mark my words. You mark them. You can think whatever you want to, but you'll end up eating those words. But my dear... <laughs> Listen here, Hassan. Go and talk to your brother. Enough is enough. Either you come with me, or I'll get my boys, and we will go to Istanbul without you. Oh. <laughs> Amir will do his internship there. Yagit and I will start a business and work there. What kind of a businessman? You think we have any other skills apart from farming, huh? Your sons will become rascals over there, especially Yigit. People here respect him because he's the grandson of Mr. Basri, but he has no skills and no education. Nobody will even greet him in Istanbul. We'll open a store and he can work there. But with what money? I will sell my share of father's inheritance. What are you talking about, man? I won't let you split my father's fields. They've been passed down to us from our ancestors. This is my final decision, brother. I promise Aliha. So you promise Aliha, huh? Uh, then shame on you, Hassan. You are clearly counting down the days to our father's death. You really want to open a store? They'll trick you and rob you in two days flat. As if you even have any business knowledge. Neither Dad nor you have ever respected me. I'm tired of living in your shadows. 